Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Let's talk about words today. You hear me talk a lot about the words we use, but believe it or not, the words we use are literally the windows to everything we learn. We interpret words, and then it turns into a pattern or design or a symbol inside of our mind. You've heard me talk about complex equivalencies. Every word in our vocabulary has a specific meaning to us. And it has similar meanings to everyone else. However, when we chunk right down into it, there starts becoming very, very distinct differences in the way we all perceive certain words. I'm a proponent of getting the virus words out of our life. You might want to write this down. Virus words are seven primary words in our language that create a negative association and presuppose we're not going to be able to do something or we're going to fail at something. Those words are why, try, need, but, should, don't, and hope. There's a couple of Mind Talk programs where I specifically give lessons on these virus words. All I'm going to ask you today is understand every time you use one of those words, there is presuppositions and presupposing failure built into each one of those. For example, if I say I'm going to try to pay you what I owe you on Friday, there's a little trigger that goes off inside your brain that says you're probably not going to do it. When you use these words, it presupposes inside your own inner conscious mind, you're not going to succeed. The word need is another very, very deeply used and really a virus word that creates tremendous trauma inside of herself because what it does, it presupposes our ability to control our own destiny lies outside of ourselves somewhere else. Madison Avenue uses this word all the time to trick you into buying things you really don't require. The word is need. I need to lose weight. I need to make more money. I need to get a job. Notice when you say those words, it kind of feels hopeless or like some magical thing has to happen outside here in order for it to be able to happen. If you say the word, I choose, I choose to lose weight. I choose to make more money. I choose now to get a job. What you're going to notice, you feel better about it. You feel more affirmative about it. Why, try, need, but, should, don't, and hope. All virus words, they all are deeply rooted in each one of us. It's very difficult to get them out of your vocabulary. You can use them correctly. There are certain syntactic operations in our language that allow us to say those things, and they actually will work for us. But most of the time, we are using them against ourselves. So today, I want you to really, really listen to your language. Listen to those virus words that you're using. And if you're having difficulty in a relationship, it very well could be those words. How about the word why? When you ask someone why they do something, it immediately takes an antagonistic role and a view of you. In fact, the word why makes us feel like we're being judged and we immediately have to start making excuses. It makes us feel bad. If you ask someone why all the time, you're really violating one of the primary linguistic rules of staying in rapport. Look at your relationships, listen to the words you're using, and I can guarantee you, if you'll make some adjustments here and use the word choose in place of all of these, you're going to be amazed at how people will listen to you. Let's play around with that this week. Let's have some fun with it. And I'm looking for your feedback. Email me. Let me know how you're doing. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you a virus-free day. Bye-bye.